right now at six. We start in South Carolina. A bill moving through the state house could give some students thousands of dollars to pay for private school. Yeah, that bill passed the Senate this week. It's headed to the house, but not without controversy. Those who support it say that it gives parents options, but those who oppose it say that it's taking money away from public schools. WCNC Charlotte's Indira Skiva breaks the bill down and here's from both sides of the debate. If a child's not learning and there's another option that costs a lot less and the parent can use that option to help their child have a better quality of life, why would a teacher association oppose that? That's crazy. South Carolina State Senator Larry Grooms wrote Senate Bill 935. The bill says students who are eligible for Medicaid or live with a disability could get $6,000 per year to go towards private school tuition. It's the same 6,000 that we would have spent whether that child stayed in stayed in the um, public school. They're, they're, they're assigned public school district. The bill caps enrollment in the program at 5,000 students in the first year, 10,000 in the second year, and 15,000 in the third year. By year three, it would cost the state about $90 million. The majority, overwhelming majority of our children attend public schools. Yet you say we can't fund smaller class sizes, we can't fund a teacher pay raise or give you steps, but yet you can find money creatively to fund a different type of program or your voucher program. The South Carolina Education Association says the bill takes money from public education and gives it to private institutions who don't have to follow the same regulations as public schools. State Senator Mike Fanning filibustered against the bill, adding in many cases $6,000 won't be enough to fully cover private school tuition. And when we brought that up on the floor, senators said, well, the families could just make up the difference. Well, the families that are eligible are Medicaid eligible families who have the least means to make up the difference. And other opponents are considering their options if this bill becomes law. The South Carolina Education Association tells me it's considering legal recourse. The bill heads to the State House next. In Rock Hill, Indira Esquiva, WCNC Charlotte.